This video is sponsored by Blair's Wire Bonsai Trees. For unique and personalized pieces of beauty and artwork, check out the link in the description and use coupon code BeastlyGamer for 10% off your order. What's up guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. I got a question for you guys. What was the very first portable video game system that you ever had? The reason I ask is because I sit around my house sometimes when I get lonely and I get bored and I look at my consoles and then I'm a very nostalgic person. I'm a Pisces, so I really get into my emotions. <laughs> and uh, I look around at all my shit and I start to think of the way I felt when I first got it. It's like when I look at my Super Nintendo, I'm looking at it right now. I immediately get images of Donkey Kong Country, Super Turricane, uh Super Castlevania 4, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Um, I get all these crazy images. Super Mario World, Mario All-Stars comes to my mind. And, and I feel the same way about basically every system that I have. It's like when I look at them, it's almost a window to my soul. It takes me back in time to a time where I was a kid. And these games brought wonder and magic into my very, very boring life at the time. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you guys know what it's like to be a kid. You get up in the morning, you go to school, you deal with dickheads, you deal with teachers, you come home, do your chores, and you play your games, and that's your release. And as a child, that's really all you need. Uh, and uh, I, I was sitting here looking at some of my portables. I got a lot, a lot of portable consoles. I got uh, PSPs. I got five of them. Everyone in my family has Vitas. You know, Vita's the new thing. I got a 3DS. My daughter's got a 3DS. My son's got 3DS. I got Game Boy Advance, the original one, shaped like a taco. I got a Game Boy Advance SP. You know, I got Game Boy Color, right? Uh, I got all these old... I got Game Gears. I got two of those. And uh, I was thinking, what was the very first one that I got that actually was mine, that really opened up my mind to what it felt like to have a portable in your hand gaming experience. Now, for people out there who know who I am, you guys know I'm in my mid 30s, so the first thing you'd probably think would be the Game Boy. The Game Boy. Uh, when the Game Boy came out, that was around the time that people were playing the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis, which were 16 bit powerhouses. It was like having a supercomputer in your house. So when those, when the Game Boy came out, and it was just one solid color, uh, very, it was 8-bit pixels, and when I saw it, I wasn't really excited. It had a green background. Some of the games looked cool. My uncle actually showed me Castlevania on the Game Boy, and I was like, holy shit, you know? As a kid, I said, wow, this is really cool. I, I saw Mario on it. I was like, this is, you know, a pocket-sized version of Mario. It's really cool. But when I looked at the Game Boy, I was like, eh, it's not something that I really feel like I have to have. Now, as time went on and technology got a little bit better, other uh, portable systems started to emerge. The Wonderswan came out, the Lynx came out, the Atari Lynx, uh, the Sega Nomad, which I used to have, which is actually really, really cool. If you guys don't know what it is, the Nomad is a portable Sega Genesis. You actually take your Sega Genesis carts and stick it inside of it, and it's like the fucking best thing ever. <laughs> and I actually have one. I don't have it anymore. I don't even know what happened to it. But as technology got better, the portables on the scene became better and better. I had a Virtual Boy. When Virtual Boys first came out, I don't want to think about how I lost my Virtual Boy, so do not ask me. It's a very, very sad tale of what happened to my Virtual Boy. And I remember sitting there in my dad's house with a Virtual Boy, looking through it at this extremely difficult to stare at red color. And I was playing Mario Tennis, and I had a game where, I forget the name of it, damn it, somebody tell me in the comments, you're a robot and you're boxing robots? It was just nuts. Uh, I think I had a Wario game, some crazy stuff. But the games actually worked really well, and for, for the technology, it was actually real 3D in the Virtual Boy. And so I've been through a lot of different video game systems and a lot of them I have and actually the very first handheld I ever had I still have and I still got 12 12 or 13 games for it I didn't want the the Game Boy the colors were just crap to me uh, the Virtual Boy came a little bit later and of course we know what, what happened with that but the very first one that I had I actually got it after my uncle Donald came to visit me years and years ago he pulled up and he's a, you know an army veteran he pulled up in his nice new whip came to visit us up north 
he got out and he had a suitcase in his hand. And I, I'm a kid. I'm just really happy to see him. And he came in the house. And he had a, a bag full of, um, I forget the name of them, like sour heads or something. Some bubble gum that's extremely sour. He had a bag of those that he started sharing with all the kids. And then he opened up this suitcase and he pulled out this black contraption. And I was like, that looks like a video game system. What the hell is it? He said, this is a Game Gear. I was like, what? He turned it on. I saw the Sega. I said, what? This cannot be. This is magic. This is black magic. Because I'm used to, at this time in my life, the Game Boy. The Game Boy is just one color, really slow. He had Sonic the Hedgehog. He turned it on. I was like, what? Sonic looked fast the same way he did on Sega Genesis. I was like, this is, I can't believe it. He let me play it. I, I wanted to just stab him in the neck and bury him in the backyard and keep it. That's how I felt about the Game Gear. So at that moment, I knew I had to have a Game Gear. I had to have one. Then he took it an extra step further that really fucked me over. He uh, put Mortal Kombat in. And I still have that game to this day. He put Mortal Kombat in. And I was my mind was completely blown at that point. I started to really, for the first time, understand that you can have a console-like experience on the go. And so I immediately went out and got a Game Gear. You know, I had my mom uh, fork over whatever monies I needed because I was working uh, through my school. <laughs> and I uh, I got a loan from her, and uh, I went out and got me a Game Gear. And, and it was a really, really fun time uh, for me as a gamer. I got all those good games. I got some games I hated. But back in those days, you couldn't get reviews. You just looked at the box and it looked cool, you bought it. <laughs> and so my first real console that I ever had was a Game Gear that was a portable. Now, I've had many. I've had, like I said, all of them. I've, I, now I got the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance Micro, Game Boy Advance SP, all those sitting in my game tribe, Vitas, 3DS, DS. I've had them all, and I've really enjoyed them all. The PS Vita, I get to play it every now and then. And and the thing is, now that I'm a little bit older, it's it's so much harder for me to pull that time aside to play these portable games because now I, you know, I'm sitting in my living room and it's a big 60 inch staring at me. I got all these consoles to play, so it, it's really a tedious job. I feel like it's a job to turn on my, my portable systems now, and that's a really sad thing because I remember what they used to mean to me. But I, I love my games, and I was just thinking about some nostalgia and, and what was my first handheld. You guys let me know in the comments what was the first handheld that you ever had. Did you have fun with it? Was it kind of a bad choice to, to pick it up? Let me know in the comments. If you guys like the gameplay and the commentary, give a thumbs up and show support. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.